You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be going over and talking about the 12 new cards that did get released in NBA 2K23 my team today obviously highlighted by the dark matter Anthony Davis and Kobe Bryant and the first thing I want to say with these cards is look at the card art man the card art of these cards is absolutely fantastic at least to me, I, I love the card art, man, uh, of these cards. So that's the first thing I want to say is, is the card art is fantastic. And there should be a lot of really solid budget options today. Now, again, before we dive into it, man, make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button. CJ Miles up first. Let's start with the animations. Rudy Base on quick, normal leader, MJ dribble style. Let's go for budget ballers out there. You guys should be really happy. Now, the Brandon Clark upper is one I don't think is going to be that great, but I don't really care. I mean, this card's animations are incredible. 95 base, 3 ball, 80 driving dunk, can standing dunk because he is tall enough. 89 speed, decent defense, good playmaking. Obviously, here's the first thing I noticed is defensively, I mean, it's not great. Obviously, maybe lacks a little bit, um, but the rest, I think, is, is fire. You know, Hall of Fame range. Shooting badge is really solid. And again, just all the way around is, is is solid. Again, defensive stats do worry me a little bit. But if you are looking for a card at the shooting guard position at that budget type of level to get you buckets, this card is going to be able to do exactly that. I'm really, especially for a left-handed guy, really excited for what CJ Miles has in store. I wish the card came with Unpluckable. But he's a great start for today. Lou Will up next. Card's going to stink. I mean... I don't know who needs to hear it. Lou Will is going to stink. He is. Okay, MJ dribble style, normal leaner. I, I get all of that. This card's going to stink. I'm not spending too much time talking about Lou Will. If you run Lou Will, you're trolling because the card is not going to be great in my team. Cam Reddish up next. Again, I want to start with the Sigs and we'll go from there. Cam Reddish base on quick. Again, I don't mind the Cam Reddish base. Is it, you know, great? It wasn't great on his last card, but it was solid. I'm interested to see what it's like on quick. Normal leader, MJ dribble style, obviously. Tendency-wise, very solid. Again, he's 6'8 at the 2. 93 ball, good driving dunk. Defensively, really solid. Speed, really solid. To me, he's more of a two-way player than CJ Miles. CJ Miles is going to be better offensively. Cam Reddish obviously provides a lot more defense. 93 speed, 95 lateral quickness, 6'8 at the 2, comes with Hall of Fame range. Yes, you need to give him unpluckable, but everything else Cam Reddish has. I mean, I feel like this is when people really start to get happy or, or start to get excited when playing my team. Because when when it you the, the, the difference between a, a an expensive squad and a budget squad back at a, a month ago was a big difference. Now you can go out there with Denny, Cam Reddish, Rudy uh, at the four, Dino, Mark Eaton at the five. You can go out there with these guys that can compete at that highest level. And Cam Reddish is a perfect example of that six, eight at the two. And he really doesn't have any flaws at all. Next up, guys, Deion Waiters, point guard, 10 out of famers, 33 on gold, 93 ball, 95 driving, done good playmaking, decent speed, ladder, quickness, decent interior as well. Comes with unpluckable, which you always want to see for a budget. Point guards comes with limitless. Finishing wise, obviously very solid. Gave Vincent base on very quick. Now, I'm not going to sit here and talk too much about that release because I don't know what that release is exactly like. I mean, I haven't used any of these players, but it's on very quick. MJ Dribble style, normal two leaner. You guys can see uh, as long as this loads, who else has that normal two leaner? What I would say about Deion Waiters is, is it's kind of a wait and see type thing. I know he's only 6'3", so he's not going to be able to standing dunk. But depending on that release, could be a really solid budget point guard in my team. Maybe the pink diamond I'm most excited about today is James Wiseman. Man, this James Wiseman card is a top power forward in the entire game. As long as his release is good. Now, again, I don't know what this release is going to be like. It's going to be a wait and see type thing, similar to, to some of the other guys that we have seen. But here's the thing about Wiseman, and here's the reason I like him. He's seven feet tall. You can play him at the power forward position. He's got 42 base badges. You can give him limitless range. You can give him unpuckable. He comes with Hall of Fame Interceptor as well as a ton of other defensive badges. As far as stats, super complete. Comes with the MJ dribble style, normal leader. Again, Wiseman based on quick. He's basically, and I'm going to say this. I know a lot of people are going to dislike this. He's a better version of Dino. 
a different version of Dino, but a better version of Dino, as long as his release is good. Wiseman and Dino, they're going to carry you guys in my team. I do expect Wiseman to be decently expensive, but man, guard is absolutely incredible. And then Lansby making him dance up next here at the Pink Diamond Tier 6'5", 6'10", wingspan, hot spots from everywhere outside of the top of the key. 10 out of the fame badges, 33 on gold, 89 base, 3 ball, decent driving dunk, he can standing dunk, decent speed with ball, ball handle, obviously defensively absolutely elite, comes with limitless range, doesn't come with unpluckable, again, that's one thing I really always look at, doesn't come with ankle braces, He's, he's a card you're going to have to maybe badge up a little bit. Land space on quick. Normal two leaner. Again, normal two leaner. It's a release uh, or a leaner they've been giving a lot of people. It's RJ Barrett's leaner. I don't know. You know, I, I think it's pretty solid. But again, I, 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 I don't know how good it is. I mean, RJ jumped uh, really high on his leaner. And I, I kind of liked it. But it's going to take a lot of getting used to. MJ dribble style as well. Lance is going to be good at point guard. How good it's really going to come down to how much is unpluckable needed on the card. Because if, you know, if he's fine without it, card is going to be just fine in general. Now to the Galaxy Hope. We started with Dominic Wilkins. The card's going to stink. He's got the Dominic Wilkins base. He's got the Dominic Wilkins jump shot. Doesn't even come with un unpluckable. I mean, what do you want me to say about Dominic Wilkins? Stat-wise, he is really good, really elite. But I don't think it's going to matter. I just don't think that release is one people are gonna like I, I i maybe i can maybe i'll be wrong maybe dominic wilkins is gonna prove me wrong but it's gonna have to be a show me type of thing gary payton up next he's got the gary payton base on very quick i mean maybe it'll be cheesy i'm not expecting too much though because that release wasn't good on normal trey young leaner now this is really interesting now this this is interesting for gary payton now why why is this interesting and does this make this card great well Especially if you're on current gen, the Trey Young leaner is important. If you're on next gen, it's still a really good leaner. It's a leaner you're probably going to start seeing a lot of people get. But he's got that on very quick, okay? MJ dribble style, quick drop dunks, perfect tendencies, high of fame, limitless range, great defense. For point guards under 6'4", I don't think you're going to find any better than Gary Payton. And, I mean, you guys can say I'm wrong, disagree with me. But even comparing him to Dwayne, to the, to Dwayne Wade, like, let, let, let's do it for a second here. I'm taking Gary Payton every day of the week. You guys can argue Dwayne Wade's better, but animation-wise, uh, it's not close. Gary Payton's got the edge. So I'm telling y'all, Gary Payton, not a card to be slept on. It took a lot to make this card good, but 2K did what they had to do. Josh Smith up next. Man, how oh, they hold Josh Smith, man. All we needed was for Josh Smith to get a serviceable release in my team, and this card would have been absolutely elite. And they gave him the Brook Lopez base on quick. That's not going to fix anything. The Brook Lopez base is one that is so bad that even if it's on quick, it's not going to be the, it's not going to be what you're wanting it to be. And, and it's sad because Josh Smith, as far as an overall rest of the card is really good. Doesn't even come with unpluckable, no slippery off ball. I hate to break it to you guys. Josh Smith is not a card I'm, I'm going to love. I, I'll, I'll do a gameplay with him. We'll see what this release is like. But again, it's not one that gets me super excited. This card in Blake Griffin is a card I'm really excited to talk about. Again, no unpluckable. They're just not giving cards unpluckable, but comes with limitless range, great finishing, good defense. As far as his inside scoring, you're not going to get much better defensively. Solid enough, playmaker wise, solid. Blake Griffin base on quick. We'll see what that's like, right? Because the Blake Griffin base, I think it was on normal timing. It just felt a little slow this year. So we'll see what that's like on quick. I'm eager to see it. MJ Dribble style, normal leaner. I think Blake Griffin is going to be good because of his player model, player build, and his ability to dunk the ball, right? That's why people are going to run Blake Griffin. And even badge-wise, when you do fully badge him, the card's going to be good. I just wish he came with unpluckable and stuff like that. Now to the Dark Matters. Let's start with a Dark Matter Anthony Davis, 6'10", 7'2", wingspan, AD base on quick. And I know there's going to be certain people that's like, Ty, that release is not good. That release is fine. People, I, I didn't want them to change his release. Did I want it on very quick? Yes. But I like Anthony Davis's release. It's straight up, straight down, easy to time, easy to green. I'm glad they gave him the AD base on quick, normal leaner. MJ dribble style, tendency wise, good enough. But look at this card defensively. Okay, look at this card defensively. He's got a large player model. He's got basically every defensive badge you could ask for. Comes with limitless range. I mean, when you do fully badge him, he basically gets every badge in the game. You can't make much better than this Anthony Davis. This card's absolutely elite. Probably power forward too. 
Uh, but, uh, you know, it, between him and D-Rob, it's really going to be preference depending on, you know, what you prefer as far as release. Do you prefer D-Rob's height, 80s wider player build, 80s movement? It's really going to come down to that. But AD definitely makes the best squad in the game. Kobe and Brian up next, 6'6", six, 6'11", six, six, wings, fan out spots from everywhere. I mean, this card is basically an invincible. Let's not sugarcoat things. The card literally is basically an invincible, or let's not hide around the fact that he's not. It's all going to come down to his animations, though. Kobe Bryant based on very quick MJ dribble style, normal leaner. I mean, they made this card about as good as they could have, keeping the Kobe Bryant base. Do I expect, and again, let's check out the size of stuff like that. Steph Curry size of escape. I mean, card's going to be fine. Do I expect Kobe Bryant to be better than Tracy McGrady? No. Do I expect him to be the shooting guard one, or shooting guard number two? Well, it's tough. Do you want Kobe Bryant, Scottie Pippen? Do you want Kobe Bryant, Vince? Do you want Kobe Bryant or Billy Knight? It's really what it's going to come down to. I do expect Kobe to be probably that shooting guard too, and to, unless you're talking about the Billy Knight with the duo. Uh, but, but again, it's really just one of those things you're just going to have to see. Kobe Bryant's absolutely elite. Still not better than Tracy McGrady, and, and Kobe's probably going to be really overpriced just because it's Kobe Bryant, and everybody, you know, wants to have Kobe in my team. So how I'd rank these cards, obviously both the Dark Matters, top two at their respective positions like we have seen in the past. As far as Galaxy Opals, I'd honestly go Gary Payton number one, Blake Griffin number two, Josh Smith number three, uh, and Dominique Wilkins number four. It's crazy. That's not the order I thought we'd, we'd have, but I do think Gary Payton is really solid in my team. And then the Pink Diamonds, I'd go James Wiseman, ranked number one, Cam Reddish, number two, Lance Stevenson, number three, CJ Miles, four, and Deion Waiters, five, with obviously Lou Williams being the worst Pink Diamond. Overall, though, really solid content drop from top to bottom. I'm really liking these Friday drops. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully, each of you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Now, have a blessed day.